basically the essentials you need and it's meant to kind of like make them comforted when they come home couldn't not get was this little pet tangle teaser these are really easy to clean they've got this little cooling mat for the seat belt that you can strap him in with obsessed dog mum like i just can't stop welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here today's video is going to be a little bit of a different one this is going to be a haul of everything we've picked up for my new puppy so basically the essentials you need i feel like i've done my research like i've literally been watching if you're like me i think i've watched every single puppy haul on youtube so i took some inspiration from that i've kind of done my own research and i feel like i've literally been shopping for this puppy for months literally like we have been and we finally got everything so i can't wait to show you it all hopefully you would have already seen the video of me bringing bailey home here's an f1b mini golden doodle i'll put a little pic on screen but yeah that video will be coming out first and then we've got the haul of everything so if you haven't seen that i'll link it down below so you can go watch it bit of a different video to my usual like fashion hauls usually we're like trying on zara clothes today we have puppy essentials and i'm honestly couldn't be happy about it so yeah there probably will be a little bit of a series going on with like pup dates puppy vlogs you'll probably be seeing him in every single video so if you love puppies then i mean definitely stick around and subscribe if you don't want to miss all of that and let's just get into it it is going to be in sections just to make it a little bit easier so it's going to be in like bedding first we've got grooming we've got food bits we've got toys travel so yeah hopefully i'll do the little section thing along the bottom so you can just skip to the bits that you're interested in or of course watch the whole thing grab a drink let's just get on with it so starting with the bed and i've got it all literally on my knee so first thing we've got is this little lamb and i have honestly seen these in every single person's video they are the little teddies that have like a little heartbeat in so there's a little thing that you can take out the batteries in and it's meant to kind of like make them comforted when they come home because it has a little heartbeat that reminds them of like their litter mates and their mum. This is the first little thing. We got this from Amazon. Most things we picked up are from Amazon or Pets at Home. So I'll link as much as possible down below to make shopping a little bit easier. Then we just got him a little blanket. This one is just from Pets at Home. We've got him quite a few blankets. I'm not going to show you all of them. Like they're just blankets. But this one's from Pets at Home. I'm pretty sure this was £5. And then his bed, which I absolutely love this. It's quite big to show you. Here's only a mini golden doodle and we don't actually know like the exact size he's going to get to like obviously it varies but this one it seems to be pretty perfect so it's just like this the one that i really liked in pets at home from the very first trip we took there this inside bit flips round so it flips to also have the little fluffy bit in and then you can take it in and out as well so yeah that is the bed i'm not actually sure on the prices of everything like i said because it's a lot to get through but as much as possible will be linked below but it was definitely under 30 pounds so not too bad so as well as his bed, we are actually going to be crate training him. So I'll put a little overlay of the crate. The crate is from Pets at Home. The little soft thing for the bottom is also from Pets at Home. We're going to have his little lamb in there. And we're going to have a little blanket thrown over the top. So yeah, that is the little crate setup that I just wanted to give you a little overview of. So that is everything in the bedding section. Then this little thing doesn't really fit into, doesn't really fit into any of the sections. Because I haven't got a section on like leads, collars, harnesses. I will show you what we get in terms of all of that stuff in future vlogs or in like little pup dates but we wanted to wait until we've got him to see how big he is to see what kind of harness he needs but i did just get this little collar just to put on him it's tiny like he's gonna be so small and it just we got this engraved in pets at home it just has our surname on it because i have heard you're not meant to put in your own dog's name on it and then it has our address and my telephone number on the back of it and it came with a lead this was just from wilco it was literally like two pound fifty we only got this as kind of like a little temporary one because we are going to go and get him fitted in pets at home because that's what they recommended so i'm so excited for that okay let's move on to grooming we have a whole box full like i said it is a bit excessive i just I don't know, I've had exams for the last month and I feel like puppy shopping has been the only thing to cheer me up. So there just is quite a lot of stuff, like it's all over the bed. In terms of grooming, I got this puppy shampoo. This is the Animology Puppy Love. I've seen pretty much everyone on YouTube get this, along with the Puppy Fresh kind of deodorising spray. This is for like in between washes, you can just freshen them up. So yeah, I got those two. Um, I know it's excessive, we do have three different brushes. Like I know it's literally ridiculous. So take it with what you will but we've got a slicker brush because i've heard that slicker brushes are what you're meant to get for like kind of long curly haired dogs we've got a slicker brush this was from pets at home and it just has the hard bristles here and then the softer ones on the back 
We've got this little comb just to get out any mats or anything. Hopefully we won't get any mats, but I want to keep on top of it with all the little equipment. And then the last thing that I just couldn't, I couldn't not get was this little pet tangle teaser. So it's lilac and yellow. I know it's excessive having three brushes, but like I said, this is my first puppy. Let a girl live. I'm enjoying buying it all. So the slicker brush and the comb were from Pets at Home. And then the little tangle teaser was from Amazon. So that's those. Then we've got some wipes. We've got these. This is a pack of 100 from Amazon. I think it was like 9 99 so pretty expensive. If anyone knows of any like cheaper wipes or any better ones, then definitely let me know. Those were from Amazon. Got some little ear and eye wipes from Wilco. They were literally like a pound. We picked those up. And then we got these, which are little finger pads to clean their teeth with. Some toothpaste. This is from Amazon. I got it in flavour peanut butter just because like all the chicken flavour stuff, I'm not going to lie, it has a really strong smell, doesn't it? Like all the chicken dog flavour stuff. So I went for peanut butter hopefully he won't hate that too much like i said all these updates will be in future vlogs and then the final thing that kind of fits into the grooming section is this little microfiber towel i've just heard these are really good for drying dogs really quickly so i'm not really sure how much he's going to love the bath or hate the bath the breeder did say he's had one and he didn't mind it so i mean we'll see hopefully this will dry him super quick this was just from wilco and i think it was like four pounds so now we're going to move on to kind of like little foodie bits and food treats so we did pick up two things that are like toys that you can put treats in, which I've heard are really, really good. So the first one we got is like a little Kong. I feel like you would have seen this in every single person's video. I feel like these are super popular, but you can just put like little doggy peanut butter in the bottom, put it in the freezer and then give it to them. Apparently that's meant to keep them busy for quite a bit. So I got that. Then this treat ball was actually from Primark. It was only three pounds. There's little holes in that you can put treats in and then they can kind of like find them. So it's meant to really stimulate their brain. So we've gone for that. Okay, so in terms of treats and things, I really had no idea, so I have just picked a bit of a selection. Obviously, you have to get the ones that are specifically for puppies, which at first I picked up some and then realised you can't give them to them when they're until they're like four months or something. So the ones that we got particularly for puppies were these. These are the pedigree tasty mini ones with chicken. We've got the wag training treats. We also got the wag little peanut butter cookies. We have a lot of treats, I'm not going to lie. We've got these little ones from Lily's Kitchen. So, I mean, we're just going to try them all. And then we've got this little mini treat bag. This is actually from Pets at Home. So, apparently, this is really good for just, you know, to have on you, break some treats up and just have it on you all the time just for training. So, yeah, we've got that little treat bag. All the treats and the little treat bag was from Pets at Home. Literally, like most things, it's either Pets at Home or Amazon if I forget to tell you where one of the two is from. So then we picked up this, which I am so excited about. I've heard Fab Han say again, Fab Han was like my fave for the dog inspo. They that licky mats are really good for them. So this is like a little mat that you can spread like peanut butter on. Obviously peanut butter for dogs, which is the other thing we picked up. And this one actually has suction on the back. It came in a pack of two and there's all these little suction bits on the back. So you can actually like stick it to your wall in the bath so that if they don't like it, you can kind of distract them or you can like stick it to your floor and leave them for a bit just to kind of keep them busy. So then the last foodie thing that we picked up was this, which is his little bowl for his drink and food. This is from Amazon. Well, like I said, I'll link it all below. This is actually the biggest, not the biggest, the second from biggest size. So we've got 800 mil. They are quite big. I don't know how that's really going to go back like a little puppy, but a lot of people were saying that the smaller ones were way too small and like the whole purpose of this is so their food doesn't spill. And a lot of people were saying with the smaller ones, the food was just going everywhere. So we picked the biggest ones. Might be a mistake. Like I said, we're just learning as we go. But yeah, I thought this was really cute. We'll keep the kitchen a little bit tidier. Okay, he's literally so spoiled already. The toys are falling everywhere. I'm not going to show you every single toy because that would just be a little bit excessive, wouldn't it? But as you can see, he's got so many. Like, like I said, obsessed dog mum. Like, I just can't stop. So I'm just going to kind of show you the types of toys we've got. Because I've heard it's really good to get different types of different things we've got a couple of these balls all these toys are from pets at home so yeah pets at home was a lifesaver then we've got his kind of like soft toys just to comfort him so this one my friend chloe actually got him and it's the first toy he got which has a little squeaker somewhere <coughs> then he's got his little purple one which is kind of just a little comfort one as well then we've got some with like different textures this banana has the has the crinkly bit. We've got this, which I actually think is really cool. This is to help them teeth. So basically you can put this in the freezer and then when they're teething, it, they can just bite on it. It's meant to help their teeth. So I got that. I think this is really cute. And it's also meant to be really good for hot days. So we picked up that. We've got a couple of rope toys. This one's actually from Primark. We've got this, which is a little Nyla bone, which is in chicken flavor. I've heard really good things about Nyla bone as well. So yeah, that is the next kind of toy. 
And then my boyfriend is absolutely obsessed with Coventry City. So we got him a Coventry City little football, which we still need to pump up. And we got this as well, which is like a little, you know, truck in the park kind of thing. Okay, so moving on to a little bit of a boring section, I'm not gonna lie. This is like cleaning products, things like that. So I'm a big Zaflora fan. So we got the Zaflora one that's like, safe for pets and i got a little enzymatic cleaner this was also from amazon then we just got a little pack of puppy pads these are only 30 these are from wilco we're kind of hoping not to use them as much my friend zoe actually got me a puppy box i'm going to show you what it is it's this little easy peasy puppy squeeze and i've literally almost read the whole thing but this book and a lot of videos i've seen have kind of said that puppy putting the pads down can confuse them a bit so if you're trying to train them to go outside then you put the pads inside and kind of be a bit confusing so we just got a few I'm gonna take these in the car on the way tomorrow just in case you want to stop on the way back it's quite far away and we're just gonna have them as like a just in case so then i've just picked up this little poo bag holder which was from tk Maxx. so we've got a couple of these this is only 1.99 but yeah just quite boring a little bit of an essential but i'll start with a couple of random bits and then we'll go on to travel so first things first is this little thing this obviously isn't really of much use it's more just for fun but i got this for just like milestones when he hits certain ages on his birthday and if you follow him on instagram yes i am that crazy dog mom already that has made an instagram for my dog i don't really know why but i just let me live you know i've wanted a puppy for my whole life i'm going all out so yeah, this was from Amazon, it was like £11. And then because it's been super hot, we actually got this little cooling mat. So this is a mat, this was also from Wilco's, where if they lie on it, it goes really cold. I know this is absolutely crazy, but I have lied on it to see if it works. And it's really refreshing. So hopefully if we get a little heat wave, then this can keep him cool. So then the last section is travel. So we have got him a little seat belt, and I just think it's the cutest thing ever. We got this in size extra small from Amazon. So it has a little harness, which you can just use as a harness anyway, and it's really cute. It has a little paw print there, and it's just grey. And then it comes with the seat belt that you can strap him in with. And then we also have got a soft crate for in the car, which again, I saw on Fab Hannah's video. Or I think I might have saw it in her Amazon listings, but I'll link a picture of that on screen, because obviously I don't want to show the whole crate. But that looks really good, and we're hoping to use that for when he's in the car. I'm just so excited for life with a puppy, like I literally can't wait. And then the final thing we got is a little playpen, which I don't know how much we're going to use this. I actually saw my friend Becca say that a playpen was like an, a godsend. I think that's just about everything. I don't know, I'm just so excited. Honestly, we're getting him tomorrow, like I literally can't believe it. If you want to see that video, like I said, I'll link it down below of me bringing my little baby home. And there will be lots more puppy content coming. He's probably going to be in just about every single vlog. And I will also do pup dates. So if you do have a little mini golden doodle and you want to see all the pup dates of him growing or if you just have a puppy yourself and you want to join me on the journey, I'm going to document everything from the highs and the lows. Definitely the first week I'm going to do with a puppy because I just feel like when you get a new puppy, you have no idea. And I feel like if I can do a little vlog to share my experience, then that'll be really, really fun to look back on for the memories. I really hope you enjoyed this haul. Like I said, if you are new here, I would absolutely love you to stick around, join the little family and subscribe. I usually have a lot of fashion content going on over here and vlogs. And now we have puppy content as well. So yeah, just makes everything 10 times better. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.